Based on the number of smoking pipes in this second worldview case, you could conclude that smoking was a very important activity for Ohio's ancient people. Through time, we can see a variety of changing styles of smoking pipe, um, from the earliest uh, to the latest. Uh, probably the earliest pipes we have here are these stone tubular forms from the Carl Williams site in Wood County, Ohio. It's interesting that several of these have a little pebble inside so that the smoker uh, couldn't inhale the burning plant material along with the smoke itself. Well, and that same style of conical or tubular pipe continued to be used during the, the subsequent Adena culture and uh, often made out of either ceramic or stone. Um, usually they're plain, but sometimes they are carved into effigies of birds. And perhaps the most famous example of all is in our treasures case. It's the Adena man pipe. Uh, in this case, the, the, the tubular pipe is carved into the shape of a, of a human. The Hopewell people and their late woodland descendants uh, changed style somewhat in their smoking pipes. <clears throat> in these cases, the bowls were set on the horizontal platform, as, as it's called. The smoker held one end of the platform in their hand and then could draw the smoke through the tiny hole uh, connected to the base of the pole of the bowl. Uh, probably the most famous Hopewell uh, platform pipes are the exquisite animal effigies from the Tremper Mound. Well, and then in the late prehistoric period, there's another significant change mm -hmm. to elbow pipes or L-shaped pipes or bowl form pipes, both of which would have required a separate stem made out of reed or wood that would be inserted. And uh, one of the most spectacular bowl mm -hmm. form pipes that we have in our treasures case is a large human head effigy with an open gaping mouth and the stem would actually be inserted inside the mouth. We don't know what the ancient people might have been smoking in these pipes. On the basis of information from historic Indians in the Great Lakes area, they might have uh, smoked a combination of things like will willow bark, aster flowers, sumac, in addition to tobacco. We have some definite evidence of tobacco uh, from some Hopewell sites, uh, seeds that have been found uh, in archaeological excavations, uh, suggesting that at least by Hopewell times they had tobacco as we know it. Well, and some of those same historic records suggest that the reasons people smoked back then were primarily ceremonial. They would smoke for uh, uh, to, to, to attract game animals or smoke as part of a healing ceremony, but also probably also for pleasure too. Mm -hmm.